design, style, comfortable, and in particular, safe riding. That is a short description of a scooter you will enjoy riding both off the road and in the city. This is OXO, the current flagship model by the Israeli company Inokin. A luxuriously looking scooter that definitely attracts the attention of all passers-by. In addition to looking truly amazing, this scooter won the prestigious Red Dot Design Award. Imagine you got a new car. Ever since the early morning you are looking forward to getting into it and going for a ride. This is how we feel about riding the Inokim Oxo, a scooter with which you will enjoy every single ride, whether down a few streets in a city or over dozens of kilometers during the weekend. It is honestly very comfortable and you will enjoy how smoothly it accelerates. The throttle is controlled by a thumb lever. Unlike similar models such as Dualtron Victor VSET 10 Plus or 010X, which are controlled by a finger lever, the throttle is much less aggressive, which means your scooter will not feel as wishing to throw you down to the ground by accelerating too fast. If you need to always be the first who leaves the intersection, there are other, more suitable models available. The Inokim Oxo is simply not intended for racing. However, if you prefer a calmer ride, comfort, safety, but with sufficient power, the Oxo is the right choice for you. It is equipped with a kickstart feature that cannot be turned off, unlike with other similar models. You must decide for yourself whether this is an advantage or consider it a safety feature. We consider it a safety feature. Imagine a fairly common case that happens with other models. You accidentally touch the throttle lever and your scooter suddenly starts accelerating forward, crashing into something and damaging itself or something else. With kickstart, this simply won't happen to you. If you really want to race other scooters in this category, you will probably not win by riding on Inokim Oxo. However, you will surely be the most stylish. Let's compare the distance needed to accelerate from 0 to 50 km per hour by Inokim Oxo, Dualtron Victor, VSET 10 Plus and 010X models. While the VSET 10 Plus only requires 47 meters to accelerate to 50 km per hour, the OXO needs 116 meters. If we compare the time required, the VSET 10 Plus accelerates from 0 to 50 km per hour in about 6 seconds, while in Ockham OXO needs close to 13 seconds. The OXO has not been designed for racing, but for comfortable and safe riding. It will reward you with its calmer approach and riding style that does not stress you each time you engage the throttle. However, if you are mostly looking for adrenaline, the VSET or Dualtron are a better choice for you. It is like with cars. A sports car always accelerates more aggressively. However, in this case you are sitting inside a car. Nothing protects you on a scooter except for your equipment. In this respect, Inokim has deliberately chosen a safer and gentler acceleration mode. Not everyone needs racing. The power of the Inokim OXO is provided by two identical motors, each delivering 800 watts with a combined peak output of up to 2600 watts. In our independently performed test, we measured the maximum actually delivered power at 2086 watts, which is far from being considered insufficient. Our methodology measures power differently and does not calculate theoretical power delivered from the battery to the motor, but rather the actually delivered power transferred to the road. Compared to other models in this category, the OXO ranked second to last. However, the power exceeding 2 kilowatts is entirely satisfactory to carry even heavy riders up a steep climb. It should be also noted that the performance of all scooters declines slightly as the battery gradually empties itself. The OXO is available in two capacity variants, namely with an 18 amp hours battery or a larger 25.6 amp hours battery, which we definitely recommend. According to Max, the price difference is definitely worth the peace of mind backed by better range and longer battery life. The power of the Inokim OXO is entirely sufficient for normal daily riding. If you want to go on a weekend trip to some distant place, to stop for lunch and to recharge the battery a little, it would really be just a little. As, unfortunately, the OXO will not make you happy in this respect, since there is no fast, 
charging option or two charging ports. It means that charging from zero to full takes almost 14 hours, and that would be a long lunch. However, the decent range offered by Inokim Oxo makes sure that you probably won't fully deplete your battery during normal daily commuting, so you can charge it overnight. After all, more than 90 kilometers per trip is plenty enough for the vast majority of riders. Also, please remember that in general, it is not recommended to discharge the battery fully on a regular basis. In our test, we achieved a top speed of 56.5 km per hour, which is the lowest top speed among the compared models. However, as we mentioned earlier, the OXO is not intended for racing. Let's be honest. When riding a scooter in a city, surely none of us has to overtake cars. The OXO has not been designed for that and its speed in the city is sufficient. But enough about riding in a city. How about when you want to visit someplace in moderate terrain? We emphasize moderate terrain as OXO cannot handle extreme off-road conditions, like any other scooter fitted with 10-inch wheels. We rode on meadows and gravel roads. We did not feel tired due to any excessive vibrations, not even after a long ride. It was truly a great fun riding it, and now imagine that you are at an intersection, orange, green, a sharp kick by your leg and full throttle, you are enjoying the speed of 50 km per hour in city traffic, and everyone looks at you and your scooter. A pedestrian with headphones in his ears approaches the crossing, does not notice the red light and starts going across the road. Here we go. It had to happen. The time has come to break hard. With drops of sweat on your forehead, you manage to bring the scooter to a halt. Your OXO helps you with its hydraulic front and rear brakes made by Zoom. But how does it look in practice? When braking sharply from 50 km per hour to a complete stop of the already mentioned models, it is the VSET 10 Plus that has the longest braking distance, more than 17 meters. And it is OXO that has the shortest braking distance, just under 14 meters. This may seem like a small difference, but sometimes a single meter can be a decisive factor. If we consider braking times from the same initial speed, it takes VSET 10 Plus, the longest, namely more than two and a half seconds, and it is Inokim OXO that is the fastest, just a little over two seconds. Okay, so we already covered sharp acceleration, top speed and braking. Let's look at a range. If you venture out on a longer trip with Inokim OXO fitted with a larger battery, you will be pleased with its range. The manufacturer claims a range of 100 kilometers. Even the claimed range of your car can only be achieved if you push the car to the petrol station over the last 150 kilometers. So, let's take a look at the real range of the Inokim OXO. In our independent test, we reached a maximum range of 94.53 kilometers at a constant speed of 20 kilometers per hour with a rider weighing 80 kilos and no weighing. This range is very close to the range claimed by Inokim. Compared to other models, the OXO has the best range. But let's face it, who among us rides at a constant speed? So let's look at a slightly more realistic range on a city cycle. Our test showed a range of 63.4 kilometers in those conditions. This is also a very decent range that allows making quite long trips. Compared to the shortest range of 39.82 kilometers, the OXO placed second behind Dualtron Victor that had a range just 70 meters longer than OXO. We independently measure the minimum range by riding at full throttle at the scooter's maximum speed. We spoke about technical and factual matters. Let's now talk and demonstrate one of the biggest advantages of the OXO model. It's the design. The orange-black combination is elegant and stylish. The scooter's wheels are attached using unconventional single-sided suspension. On the one side, there is this beautiful swing arm and on the other side, the scooter seems as if it is not supported by anything. This not only looks stylish, but is also practical. In case of a puncture, you do not need to remove the wheel. Many of you are asking whether it is safe. The answer is absolutely. After all, the scooter's load capacity is 120 kilograms. The load capacity is limited mainly by the maximum permissible load of tires that are of 10-inch size and made by CSD. 
by using just one arm for suspension, Inokim also saved on the scooter's weight. You will surely appreciate it when carrying this scooter weighing less than 34 kilograms. It may not be the lightest scooter in its class, but it is neither the heaviest one. Thanks to its single-sided wheel suspension, changing a flat tire is really fast and easy. Despite the fact that the Inokim OXO uses elastomeric shock absorbers, thanks to its excellent geometry and ideally chosen elastomer stiffness, it has a more pleasantly suspended chassis than some other scooters equipped with hydraulic shock absorbers. Compared to the previously mentioned scooters, the elastomeric shock absorber is also used by the Dualtron Victor while the VSET 10 Plus and 010 X use a hydraulic one. In our opinion, however, the Inokim OXO offers an extremely comfortable chassis from among the scooters compared by use. This also depends a lot on how high it is raised, meaning what is the angle between the upper arm relative to the lower one? The OXO uses a patented system with adjustable chassis height, which allows easily changing its ground clearance depending on whether you are riding in a town or off the road. Importantly, the elastomeric suspension system is completely maintenance-free. It does not get dirty, requires no oil, and does not make any squeaking noises. None of us wishes to clean the scooter each time after riding it, or having to listen to unpleasant squeaking sounds when taking a ride next time. The maintenance-free chassis is a big advantage over the competition such as 010X or VSET 10 Plus. So if you do not want to worry much about taking care of your scooter, the OXO has its pluses, and it is also undoubtedly more comfortable than, for instance, the Dualtron Victor. In our opinion, the ideal weight for its shock absorbers is between 60 and 105 kilograms. Let's now take a closer look at the scooter itself. The deck surface is stylish and provides enough foot space. It is easy to clean because it is made of hardened plastic. The raised part of the deck serves as the scooter's folding mechanism to which you snap the handlebars. However, if you would like to use the raised rear part as a strong support for your feet, you'll be disappointed. That is not its purpose. Rather, you risk bending the scooter and making it impossible to be comfortably folded. The steering rod is very nice, aerodynamically shaped and featuring the orange Inokim inscription on a black background. The scooter can be folded very quickly and comfortably. It's a shame that the handlebars themselves can't be folded. On the other hand, they're very strong, and they do not develop any unwanted play or squeaks over time. You can easily fit this scooter into a medium-sized car trunk, but it will probably occupy all the trunk space. However, the folding mechanism has its faults. In case of assuming the wrong position on the scooter, when accelerating and pulling on the steering rod, or when braking and pushing against the steering rod, the folding mechanism comes under stress and it is prone to damage. This can be very easily prevented, namely by standing correctly on the scooter and by properly transferring your weight. Please read our e-scooter guide available on our website to learn about correct standing position and how to transfer weight while accelerating or braking. The scooter's handlebars feature a thumb lever throttle, a display with three speed modes, a horn and a red button on the other side. This button once served as a front motor on off switch. On newer models, it serves as a power limiter, the so-called eco mode. By default, both motors work in a limited mode. It is only after this button is pressed that they start running at full capacity. This change in the button's functionality prevented having one overburdened motor by dividing the output between the two motors. By doing so, Inokim has extended the life of its control units and the entire drivetrain by better distributing their load. If you choose to ride this scooter at night, you will not be pleased with its lights. Although others will see you as the OXO is equipped with side lights, you will only see a short distance in front of you, which will definitely not be enough at certain speeds. The rear and brake lights are on one side only, the right one, which is not exactly the best solution but rather necessitated by the design. On the left side, there is a wheel suspension arm and no room left for the light. However, you can easily solve this problem by installing additional lights. If you do not know how, we will be happy to help you. So, let's sum it all up. The OXO model has been in production by the Inokim company since 2019. 
The model has undergone several changes and upgrades, such as brakes, controller and others, which means its quality has been proven over the years. The OXO model is intended for all who like performance, as well as reliable and safe traveling, for people who enjoy the riding experience. The OXO model shows that Inokim does care about scooters' properties, including its design, comfort and safety. We agree that this is one of the most reliable scooters that evokes a fantastic riding feeling, and unlike its competition, it looks mature and less hot-headed. Its biggest advantages include the gradual delivery of power, giving you the feeling that the scooter is not trying to kill you. Then there are factors such as safety, maintenance-free operation, design and single-sided wheel suspension. We even dare to say that Inokim Oxo is one of the best scooters in its class. With advantages also come disadvantages and we have no reason to hide them. The absence of fast charging, the susceptibility of the folding mechanism to damage, insufficient lights, weak raised part of the deck and handlebars that cannot be folded. Naturally, there are more powerful scooters out there at a similar price with more aggressive acceleration and a higher top speed. After all, we have them on offer and sometimes ride them ourselves. However, such a degree of versatility and pleasant riding feeling is unique to OXO. The Inokim company has proven that this model does not compete in the race for the most powerful machine, but rather it offers joy, excitement and a pleasant feeling. And most importantly, every evening it brings you safely home in style. For us, this is more important than winning the most extreme scooter competition. Our warehouses are running at full capacity. We keep most goods in stock and ship to any place in Europe within five hours of ordering. At Max Blinker, we understand that not everything always goes as planned. From time to time, even the best product out there breaks down or gets damaged. That is why we built a state-of-the-art service supercenter spanning floor area of more than 400 meters square which is where we keep more than 10,000 spare parts and where our experts in batteries, electronic components and mechanical repair work. We serve customers from all over Europe. The video features a professional rider. Do not attempt performing the tricks shown in the video. You could hurt yourself or others or irreversibly damage your scooter by improper handling. Always ride in line with our guide to safe riding. We put the link to it under this video.